Hello Europe Direct Blanchardstown. This is uh, Arnoud from uh, the Netherlands. Um, we're in uh, the city of Brille, my hometown. It's a small fortress town. Uh, live 17,000 people live here and uh, in the Netherlands there's 17 million. It's a lovely little town. Uh, we are, I'm on the bridge or my house is in the, in the background. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is where we uh, go on the boat later on and I will answer some questions which have been requested uh, to answer and I'm looking forward to, uh, to hearing your comments and what you think of it. So um, this is <laughs> take one. This is Vrbrei Tage in Netherlands. It's Liberation Day in Netherlands. This is our streets in Brille. And over to you Arnoud. What is your favorite book that you liked growing up in your country? Uh, it's called uh, Snuff, the Hond. It's about a dog. The Hond, Hond is dog uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, it's about a dog, uh, a German, uh, actually a German Shepherd. And he uh, helped uh, two young boys in the, during the, the end of the war to uh, get to the Canadian army to get to help them to uh, liberate uh, the Netherlands. It was a very exciting book and uh, I read it about 10, 10 times. Okay, so um, who is the person, past or present, who uh, you admire most in your country? Well, uh, um, um, as for me it's uh, sports related, so uh, I am uh, very, a big fan of uh, current uh, Max Verstappen, he's a Formula 1 driver, very young, very good, uh, and he, he changed the, the, the game of Formula 1, and he's quick anyway, and, and we're looking forward to, to, for him to be a world uh, champion one day, and, uh, and of course in, the, in soccer it's uh, my biggest uh, I'm, I'm an admirer of Johan Cruyff and Marco van Basten your favorite food? Uh, well, at the moment we are barbecuing, but uh, that's uh, just uh, something we love to do. But uh, what's my favorite Dutch food? It's, um, I think it's uh, patatje oorlog. It's, uh, it's uh, fries with uh, peanut butter, peanut sauce and mayonnaise. And that's uh, very nice. And of course, uh, we have like a snack from uh, the snack bar, it's a frikandel. It's a very Dutch frikandel. Um, not very healthy, but very nice. So what is your favorite European country and why? Well, it's very hard to pick one because I'm, uh, I like the diversity of uh, Europe. So I like France for its um, camp, him going camping there. I like Spain for tapas and sun and nice beaches and Barcelona. I like Italy for its food and its Great, great uh, yeah, uh, countryside, and um, yeah, I like uh, I like Germany for uh, a lot of do a lot of business with them, and uh, yeah, actually I have a very hard picking one one favorite over the other, um, and of course Ireland, uh, it's a great great country too, uh, uh, lovely people, great Guinness. Um, no, it's um, I wouldn't I wouldn't I like I like the diversity and the, the difference of all countries. So uh, I wouldn't I couldn't pick one. This uh, being a member of the European Union, the main benefit for the Netherlands. Well, that's very obvious. Uh, we are a trading nation, and the euro has brought us so much prosperity and possibilities to trade freely and uh, also my uh, for my personal reasons it's uh, I can travel through all the countries in most of the countries in Europe without changing money which I know I had to do 25 years ago 20 years ago 25 years ago and uh, at every I had when I traveled to Spain I needed three or four different currencies which young people wouldn't remember but this still in my, my head. It's, um, I think, uh, especially the currency and the integration of policies. That's the other thing I would... Uh, but that, that should be more. Uh, I will talk about that in the next question. Um, and the last question. All right. Thank you. This is uh, our statue in Brila. It's called uh, 
Eersteling der Freiheit ist der the, the Freedom of the Brille on the 1st of April from the Spanish Inquisition. And yeah, now we're one uh, nation almost with Spain and France and Germany. It's been a while since uh, the war has been over. Over yesterday we celebrated 75 years of freedom in the Netherlands. So it's, uh, I think Europe, Europe is a very, very good very good uh, way to uh, keep uh, the peace and to stay together and stick together. Um, what issue would you like to see the EU focus on in the next decade? Uh, what I hope the EU will uh, focus on in the next decade will be uh, that uh, we have more integration in Europe, that we are more one Europe, because I think that's a bit of a, the thing that is missing uh, the last uh, couple of decades, uh, the being having the same uh, decisions and same uh, legislation so we can be more uh, equal with, uh, within Europe. If you were to visit my country, what was the location you would uh, you should have to visit? And I, of course I would say it's my hometown, Brille. It's a little more fortress town. really come and see it. Uh, from uh, the bigger cities I would say Rotterdam. It's a nice cultural build-up after the World War II. Very nice uh, culture and events. And uh, check it out. It's uh, really, uh, really nice. But uh, you're always welcome to visit uh, my lovely city. Stereotype about your country and is it true? Well, they say we wear clogs. And uh, we have windmills, uh, well, we have windmills, as you would see. This one is for grinding grain and making me uh, me uh, flour for uh, bread. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, as you might, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not wearing any clogs, which I cannot show you, probably can. Just uh, normal sneakers, so. No, just, uh, yeah, we have, uh, but uh, in the past when my, my grandfather wear clogs, but uh, I don't anymore, just have my, my sneakers.